French food is known globally for its finesse and flavor. Traditional French food relies on simple combinations that enhance the rich, natural flavors of basic ingredients. Many French chefs have earned international acclaim for turning French food into haute cuisine and influencing the gastronomic scene worldwide. Food in France has become such an integral part of French culture that it was added to UNESCO's World List of Intangible Cultural Heritage in 2010. Soup à l'oignon This is a traditional French soup made of onions and beef stock, usually served with croutons and melted cheese on top. The soup's origin can be traced as far back as the Romans, it was typically a poor dish, although the current version dates from the 18th century. The remarkable taste in French onion soup is from the caramelization of the onions, to which sometimes brandy or sherry is added at the end of the slow cooking process. The liquid is typically meat stock, although variations include using just water, adding milk, or thickening it with eggs or flour. For another popular French soup, try the traditional fisherman soup de poisson à la rouerle from Marseille, characterized by a dollop of garlic and saffron mayonnaise, rouerle, on top. Coco Ven This quintessential French food was popularized by Julia Child through her television show and book and seen as one of her signature dishes. It is a dish of chicken braised with wine, mushrooms, salty pork or bacon, lardons, mushrooms, onions, often garlic and sometimes with a drop of brandy. Although the name translates as rooster or cock in wine, and braising is ideal for tougher birds, the recipe usually uses chicken or capon. A red burgundy wine is typically used, although French regional variations exist using local wines, for example Coco Venjean, Jura, Coco Riesling, Alsace, Coco Pourpri or Coco Violet, Beaujolais Nouveau, and Coco Champagne. Cassolette is a comfort dish of white beans stewed slowly with meat, typically pork or duck but also sausages, goose, mutton or whatever else the chef has around. This peasant dish originates from southern France and is popular in Toulouse, Carcassonne and Castelnaudary. The name of the dish comes from the pot, cassoli, it's traditionally baked in, which is typically shaped like an inverted cone to give a crust shape. This is a rich, hearty meal perfect for colder months. Beef bourguignon is a traditional French meal that has become internationally well known. Coming from the same region as Coco Ven, Burgundy, or in French, Bourgogne, in eastern France, beef bourguignon has several similarities. The dish is a stew made of beef braised in red wine, beef broth and seasoned with garlic, pearl onions, fresh herbs, and mushrooms. This recipe is just one example of how traditional peasant dishes have been adopted into haute cuisine. The method of slowly simmering beef in wine was likely developed to tenderize tough, or cheap, cuts of meat. Traditional preparation time is two days to tenderize the meat and intensify the flavors. In Burgundy in late August, the Fête du Charolais, in French, celebrates the prized Charolais beef with music, meat, and beurf bourguignon. Well, the word souffle derives from the French verb to blow out and is an airy, egg-baked dish with origins dating back to early 18th century France. Souffle is eaten savory or sweet in France, and you've likely found chocolate souffle on dessert menus worldwide. The crispy chocolate crust with an oozing, creamy chocolate center gives this dessert a sweet surprise. Flamish means cake in Flemish and this dish originates from northern France, near the border with Belgium. It has a puff pastry crust filled with cheese and vegetables and resembles a quiche. The traditional French filling is with leeks and cream. 
There is also a pizza-like version of Flamiche, which is without the top crust of the pie. For a southern French twist, try the thin crusty pisseladier which is topped with anchovies, onions, and olives. Coffee de canard is a tasty French dish of duck, although goose and pork can also be used, and is considered one of the finest French dishes. The meat is specially prepared using a centuries-old preserve and slow-cooking process, coffee, where the duck meat is marinated in salt, garlic, and thyme for up to 36 hours and then slow-cooked in its own fat at low temperatures, an alternative to deep-frying. It is typically served with kofi roasted potatoes and garlic on the side. Today this French dish is served all over France, although it is considered a specialty of the Gascony region. Salade Nicoise is a typical French salad from the Provence region, which can be served as a side dish or a light meal on its own. It's typically a combination of lettuce, fresh tomatoes, boiled eggs, canned or fresh, tuna, green beans, Nicoy's kale lettier olives and anchovies, although many variations exist. Ratatouille is another internationally recognized French dish, hailing from the southeastern French region of Provence. It is a stewed vegetable recipe that can be served as a side dish, meal, or stuffing for other dishes, such as crepes and omelettes. The vegetables are generally first cooked in a shallow pan on a high heat with a small amount of fat, and then oven baked in a dish. French chefs continually debate the correct way to cook ratatouille, some do not agree with sautéing all the vegetables together, such as Julia Child, and argue that the vegetables should be cooked separately and layered into a baking dish. The ingredients consist of tomatoes, garlic, onions, zucchini, eggplant, carrots, bell peppers, basil, marjoram, thyme and other green herbs. A similar dish popular in the French Basque country is pie parade, which typically adds ham and sometimes eggs to the stewed vegetable mix. Tartaden They say this French apple tart was made by mistake in 1898 by Stephanie Tartan when trying to make a traditional apple pie. When she accidentally left the apples in sugar and butter too for long in the pan, in a hurry to rescue the dessert she put the pastry base on top of the burning fruit and placed the pan in the oven. She supposedly served the upside-down tart to her guests at Hotel Tayden and the result turned into the hotel's signature dish. Although the tart's origin is disputed, the delicious result is not.